The Internet of Things revolution is here. From coffee pots to toasters, getting data and controlling devices remotely is easier than ever before. We hope you'll join SparkFun in exploring this brave new world where the physical and the digital become one. Welcome to the Fellowship of the Things. Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Sara. If you've seen some of our videos in the past, you might have noticed that we have a habit of showing you a small demo project using some of our products. Now, today we're joining forces. Let's call this a fellowship. And with this fellowship, we want to show you what you can do with IoT, or Internet of Things. Some people out there might not know really what IoT is or might have heard about it and really don't understand the definition. So Sara, could you give us an idea of what is IoT? That's a great idea, Sean. IoT, or Internet of Things, is the notion of connected web devices using data to improve society in ways previously impossible. These areas include wearables, healthcare, smart grids, as well as home automation. Other buzzwords that you might hear along with IoT is machine to machine or M2M, cloud ready, just connected devices, or big data. The idea has been around for a long time, but it's just recently started becoming more popular due to the technology that allows us to be more connected, becoming more accessible and affordable to the general public. As technology offers faster, easier, and cheaper options, we are seeing a ton of really great projects, not only in the DIY community, but in almost every aspect of the market. Whether it's starting your car from your phone, whether it's checking in on your dogs and kids from almost any computer, or whether it's just expanding the capabilities of our phones and tablets, IoT is having more of an impact in our everyday lives. Whew, all right, that was a mouthful, but good description. And we could sit here and talk about IoT all day, but we figured it would be better to show you some of these projects. And really, what better way to start than with home automation? Now, home automation seems to be quite popular right now, and we figured the best way to do this is to build our own apartment inside the SparkFun building. Sean? Yeah? I think it's time for a montage. Montage. Here we are in the apartment set that we built. As a first project, we decided to tackle something dealing with the front door. It's kind of the first thing you see when you enter. And also dealing with physical security and internet of things. We give you the man trap. Here is the completed man trap. It's a small four by four box behind this wall. And as you can see, there are two doors. One is the outside front door of the apartment and the other is the inside door. You start by pressing the doorbell. This unlocks the Lockatron and you go on inside. Once inside and you shut the door, that locks the Lockatron, locking you in and the sensor panel comes up. The idea is when you enter the front door, it locks behind you, which effectively locks you inside of this tiny box. To get in, you have to use three-factor authentication to let the apartment know that you're home and it's one of us. Once the panel is up, you can see your three-step verification sensors, the first of which is a thumbprint. Second step is the RFID scanner. And third is the voice recognition password. Sara is awesome. And there you go, the door unlocks. However, if you're not one of us, you can authenticate. The project itself will tweet at me or Sara and let us know that somebody's in the box complete with a picture. Then we can use the panel that's over here inside the apartment to hit a button to either let somebody in or kick them out the front door. So here I have a diagram of the three-step verification sensors inside of the man trap. Three-step verification is just something you are, something you have, and something you know. So I've set up three sensors to be those three steps. The first is the fingerprint scanner. That's something you are. So once you verify that, the green light will come on in the panel. Next, you have the RFID scanner, which is something you have. Once you verify that, 
the next green LED will turn on. And the last is the easy VR password. That's something you know. And once you verify that, the last green LED will come on and you will be able to successfully go through. If you fail any of these sensors, the red LED will come on and that's when the picture gets taken and tweeted out. For the easy VR sensor, you could have set it up to have a number password that would recognize absolutely anybody's voice, even if it had been programmed or not. I didn't set it up that way. I set it up with a specific password for the specific people who say it. So technically this sensor could have been something that you are and something that you know, but I still had the fingerprint scanner. The Edison acts as the brains of the whole operation, and if we take off this panel, you can see what's on the inside. The Edison connects to the sensor panel that's controlled by an Arduino that Sara was talking about. It takes inputs from that and lets you know if somebody's correctly authenticated or not. Additionally, it looks for these two buttons. The red one, if I push that, it kicks somebody out of the front door. Or the green one lets somebody in this door. And it does that by controlling the Lockatrons that are on the deadbolts of those doors. It controls them through Bluetooth Low Energy. Additionally, it connects to the internet and sends out tweets whenever somebody correctly authenticates. It says, good morning, Sean, or good morning, Sara. Or if somebody fails, it takes a picture from a web camera that's located in the upper corner of the man trap and sends that out through Twitter. This is a Lockatron. If we take off the cover, you can see it's a motor and a battery set that controls a wheel that fits over a deadbolt. All of this is controlled through an RF Duino, which connects to our Edison through Bluetooth Low Energy. Throughout this series, we're going to be really filling out this apartment and kind of making it a connected home of the future. I definitely want some sort of couch in here. It's pretty barren. But thanks for watching, and definitely tune in for more episodes. Sarah? Yeah? How do we get out? Sean? What? I didn't code for exiting. <sighs>